Hi fellas, let me welcome you to this video and if you are the one who is facing a WooCommerce issue that if you are selecting a default variations from the edit screen of your of your product uh, but these default variations if you select for example blue and large over here from these variation this does not reflect on the front end of the website and if the customers land on a product detail page of your website he needs to choose uh, an option and if you if you, if you want to uh, if you want to uh, get this fixed you just need to follow me through this video so before getting a deeper into the today's topic uh, if you are new to the channel please subscribe to it and uh, if you like the video please like it and comment down and uh, tell me that how uh, how you find a video if it is in, if it's interesting for you and if it uh, if if the, if the problem is sorted out if not please let me know and I, I will I will be glad to help you out so what I'm doing over here is that uh, I'm, I'm going to be basically I want you to open uh, the photo.php file of your of your website photo.php you can if you are if your website is on a server you can just uh, uh, hover on appearance and you can click on theme file editor and uh, over here you can from the right side you can select the footer.php file and uh, at the end of footer.php file we're going, we're, going, we're going to write a code that will that will help us solve this issue and uh, what, what i want you to do is i want you to open the footer.php file i'm i'm hoping that uh, you've all opened it up and uh, the uh, another thing that i want you to do is i want you to select this select uh, select this select thing uh, select uh, in tag of HTML of your of your website and uh, it was I just want you to make a selector for it if if you already have a selector for it let's say if if, if you have some some of some 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 of some kind of this thing and that means that you need to copy it if once you've copied it you, know, you just need to head back to the footer.php file and just need to write this code with me I want you to write script tag open and closing of script tag and after that I want you to basically if, uh, if I'm, I'm hoping that you're not basically a coder so I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not just gonna explain what i'm doing but uh, just just need to write this code with me now uh, let select variation is equals to document dot query selector all and in the brackets in the single course i'm gonna paste my clipboard and uh, after in, in the in the next in the next uh, line i'm gonna i'm gonna write select underscore variation and dot uh, for each the e of for each will be greater and uh, over here i'm gonna write e as a an argument and uh, you just need to create this arrow symbol with equal sign and greater than make it look like this and in uh, and in these curly brackets you just need to drop down maybe and uh, you just need to play uh, write e dot child element dot remove once you have written this code i want you to pop i want you to save this file and uh, if you if you have done all this thing over here you just need to update the file and uh, let me just uh, um, really quickly uh, I, I want you to show that uh, if is it working or not um, I, don't, I think there's something missing um, I guess it's not child element it's first element first child I guess basically and uh, you just need to save the file and uh, refresh the page and let's see if it works or not okay so uh, you, you see that uh, that the choose an option is now gone and the first variation that is coming on is automatically selected so that will be it for this video and uh, if you if you are stuck anywhere please don't forget, don't, don't hesitate to talk to me uh, you can you can contact me uh, on my on my email id or my whatsapp number i'm always available and uh, if you're new to the channel please subscribe to it again and uh, thank you for watching the video and thank you so much take care bye bye